what is up simmers welcome back to my channel it's coco sims i am so happy you decided to tune into yet another video and today we are filming the first episode of menace to society i am so excited to start filming this let's play i've been planning like a teen let's play for like the whole newcrest town for a really long time now and we are here in the streeter family residence of course because this let's play is mainly gonna follow nova and amir it is 6 4 a.m and the kids do have school today but if y'all watch my family ties let's play y'all know that nova starts every day with a little wake and bake so we gonna go ahead and do that and yeah, today I'm just going to try to introduce you guys to all of our characters. I'm going to try to just, you know, do the little intro because I have a lot of teen sims that I haven't introduced you guys to yet. And she's going to take a bath after she finishes smoking her little blunt. Namir is down here working on a school project. And if you guys keep up with my community posts, y'all know that Namir got him a little girlfriend. And I think she's here, actually. I saw her here. Let's see. Oh, no. She was here earlier. But, yeah. This is Namir's girlfriend, Skyla. And my little sim profiles aren't working. But this is what she looks like. She's super cute. I'm actually going to have Namir just, like, summon her. So they can, like, you know, walk to school together. You know, real cute shit. But, yeah. Basically, this Let's Play is going to follow... Oh, follow Nova and Namir around as they grow up, get older, and yeah, that is basically it. But yeah, Namir is down here working on one of his little school projects or whatever, but I want the parents out of the house. I'm not going to lie to you. I want the parents out of the house just because, I don't know, this Let's Play ain't about them. If y'all want to know about... Nova and Amir's parents, this is Peyton and this is Xavion, their love story is iconic, okay, iconic love story, but I kind of want them out of the house, so I'm going to have Peyton go ahead and, or no, this is Xavion's computer, so Xavion has to do it. I'm going to have Xavion plan a vacation, let's see, is it in household, did we go past it? household go on a vacation and i'm just gonna have it be with peyton and yeah y'all we're just gonna go ahead and go to school with nova and amir i think just for the day and i'm gonna introduce you guys to other households as well and yeah we're just gonna take it one step at a time today <laughs> All right, Xavion is on the computer trying to plan his little vacation or whatever. I think I'm just going to have them go to Tartosa because they are supposed to be engaged or whatever. And I think it would just be super cute if they took a little vacation to Tartosa and got out the house. I have some villas or vias, whatever they're called. Mm, I think I'm going to have them go to this one for five days. That way, they're out the house, and they're out of our hair, and we just don't have to deal with them, and we can just play with the teenagers as we should. <laughs> okay, we got the parents out of the house. Nova's sitting here watching TV. Namir's watching TV, I think. Oh, he hasn't finished his school project yet, but we can just leave it there for now. And I will okay, his girlfriend Skyla is here dancing in the room. I'm gonna have them do their little hey babe because they have to leave for school in a little while. So let's go ahead and let's see. Oh, we can exchange promise rings. That's cute. I wanna see this. Namir has to take a shower too before he goes to school. I wanna see this little promise ring exchange though. That's so fucking cute. Aww. Skyla just promised herself to Namir. That is so fucking cute. Okay, Namir has to take a quick little shower. 
And then their cousin Mariana lives with them. This is Mariana. She is super cute. I'm going to have her change into her school clothes. Let's pick an outfit for her. It's cold. Oh, it's hot outside, actually. So let's do this one. And yeah, Mariana, she's been living with them for a few months now. Mariana is Puerto Rican. She's from the South Side, LA. And I think that Newcrest is like kind of like suburban LA, if you kind of just look at it. I pretend this is the ocean. Pretend, just pretend. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of, this is Adri's house right over here. And then this is the dispensary, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, we're going to meet Adri in a little bit after we get these kids ready for school. But I think Mariana's already ready for school, so I'm going to have her clean up her little inventory and then roll a blunt. Oh, look at Nova being responsible, doing laundry or not. What is she doing? Doing the dishes and stuff? Her. And she got some chicken and mushroom risotto for breakfast since her parents are gone. Her. Namir do not want to shower. He over here talking to his little girlfriend. He finna go to school musty as hell. But yeah, Skyla, let me go ahead and control her real quick. This is Skyla, and I want to show you guys her little traits. Skyla Polak, she, her traits are unforgettable, goofball, clubber, Aries. She's a Loromatic, a Loromantic. A Loromantic. I have never heard of that before, and I do not know what that is, so I'm not going to explain it. But it says that she's romantically attracted to masculine sims. She's a lover, a jester. And yeah, I made her because, or actually, I didn't make her. Namir met her, and they were already liking each other. So I just gave her a cute little makeover or whatever. And I'm going to have her change her outfit to something a little bit, you know, just dress up a little bit for school or whatever. I didn't give her that many outfits, but I did give her this one. This one's super cute. Her little locks are so cute, you guys. And her little, look at the shoes. Get into it. Get into it. Namir got himself a baddie and she got face tattoos. Per. But yeah. Oh, Namir's butt ass naked. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Nothing really going on here. Everybody's just getting ready for school as they should. And oh, I guess Mariana's gonna come talk to. Oh, they, she came to dance. She ain't come to talk to Skyla. Let's see. Let's plot to party tonight. I think we should throw a party tonight, don't y'all? Hello. This game is so broken, you guys. Alright, they're just chatting it up, and they're gonna leave for school any moment now. Oh, this is Namir's new outfit. Here, I be giving Namir the cute little outfits. Look at Namir's outfit. I love the way he dresses, you guys. It's so fucking cute. He's like, um, he's a true stoner. If y'all know, I did make a stoner trait, and I don't know if I gave it to Namir, but let's see. It says Namir sporty talented a goofball he's a cancer so he's very sensitive basically it says cancer seamlessly weaves between the sea and the shore representing cancer's ability to exist in both emotional and material realms cancers are highly intuitive and their psychic abilities manifest in tangible places but just like the hard shell crustaceans this water sign is willing to do whatever it takes to protect itself emotionally in order to get to know this sign you're going to need to establish trust he's physically guilt gifted he was a top-notch toddler he's a new crest thugs member because his dad Xavion, is the leader of the new crest thugs if y'all want a backstory on all that y'all gonna have to go ahead and watch family ties but yeah jester he's rebellious so he's going through a childhood phase he's a little bit distant this teen has become distant. Being near and interacting with family has started to stress them out. The world just doesn't understand them. And a fear of unfulfilled dreams. So I'm going to go ahead and have him roll up a little joint before school. Because we only got 15 minutes before school now. And we're going to go ahead and just relax. Get ready for school. Oh, he reached rolling, rolling level 2. Periods. Now I think he's gonna 
Once you reach level three, I think you get two blunts every time you roll. So per. I'm going to have Mariana drink one of these drinks because ain't nobody around to stop her. The parents are on vacation, and before they go to school, we got to plan this party real quick. I'm going to have Nova do it because I think Nova knows the most people. So let's add an event. Should we do a keg party? I think that sounds fun. Let's do Nova as the host, and then let's just invite a bunch of people. No adults. Let's invite Keyshawn. Keyshawn is also from my family ties. Let's play. Let's invite Kyrie, Nisi, Amir, Lorenzo, Skyla. And uh, should we invite Yara? I don't know why. Nova has a romance meter with this girl, but doesn't like her. And I don't know why she's so short. <laughs> I'm going to invite her too. And then I guess this is someone from school. I guess we can invite them too. And we can just give them makeovers. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll just hire a mixologist. And then let's do it tonight. Should we start at 8? Hmm. Or should we start at 10? Let's start at 10 so everyone has time to get ready. Mariana's gonna drink her little drink before school. <laughs> Namir's smoking his little blunt, period. Nova's watching TV. All right, let's go send them alone. And then I'm going to introduce you guys to Adri's household. So stay tight or sit tight <laughs> and we'll be right back. All right, I actually wanna show you guys the setup of Newcrest. So this is Nova and Namir's house. And this is the Mills residence. This is where Amir and his sister Simone live. If you don't know who Amir or Simone is, y'all gotta catch up on the Let's Plays. Catch up on the LPs because these aren't really new people. <laughs> and then this is the Morris family residence. This is where Adri and her brother Lorenzo live. Over here is where Antoine, Arturo, and Nisi live. You guys will meet them too. This is where Malik lives. And then over here is just like a little baby shower venue. This is another house. This is the hospital. This is the Newcrest Thugs headquarters over here. And this is where Kyrie lives. He's coming to the party tonight. And back here, I put a movie theater. I don't know why you guys can't see it. But yeah, that's just the setup of Newcrest. So let's go ahead and go meet Adri. And yeah, just keep the ball rolling. Introduce these people to y'all nice and quick so we can get into the real tea tonight. All right, you guys, we are here with Miss Adri. She's down here having herself a nice little time in her party basement. I decorated this basement myself. I had uploaded a little speed build on it, but I didn't like how the video came out, so I took it down. But yeah, Adri is the party princess of Newcrest. Her mom, Diana, is a lawyer, and they have this nice, like, really cookie-cutter house. There's some windows and stuff missing, because I got this house off the gallery, but yeah. It's just, like, this nice, clean, crisp house. Her mom does not like clutter. Her mom does not like, like, her mom just, her mom don't play, basically. She paid all this money for this nice-ass house, and these kids is not going to tear it apart. So the deal was, they could do anything they wanted to the basement. And the basement is jumping. Y'all can tell. This is Party Central right here. And you got the little weed. And the little, what is this? This is a jar of weed. The little roll-up tray. Liquor. A little bottle of Smite. <laughs> and all the little posters and stuff. They have a little beer pong table. And I really like Adri. Adri is just like such a princess and stuff like that. I don't know why they're not at school. Oh, they do have to go to school. They're late. Okay, but this is Adri. And then up here is Lorenzo. He's just watching TV in his sister's room like a weirdo. But let me go ahead and show you guys their rooms real quick. So this is Adri's room. She has a bunch of pictures hanging up. She actually has a picture with Xavion because everybody fucking knows Xavion. This is back when Adri and Xavion used to party together. Xavion used to hit up the clubs, used to be at everybody's house partying. Now he's a family man with two teenage kids. That's actually really crazy. 
But yeah, she has pictures with her brother. Or she has a lot of pictures with her brother, actually. We need to replace some of these pictures. But yeah, these are just her little pictures of memories she had at the club. And her little bed. A little mirror. My mirrors are broken. I don't know why they just show the outside instead of the reflection. I can't figure it out. If y'all know why my mirrors do that, please comment below. But yeah, she just has these little posters hanging up. Her little calendar. I know it says 2016. Please just go, go along with it, y'all. Y'all know the vibes. <laughs> and yeah, she has her little desk over here. The world is your freaking oyster. Too glam to give a damn. She has some roll-ups sitting on her desk. <laughs> her little shelf and stuff like that. And then if we go into her brother's room, her brother's room is like super clean, super simple. Like y'all can really tell a boy. This is definitely a boy's room. Yeah, he just has his little basketball posters, his little suitcase in case he got to take a little trip, his pile of Nike, what are the Nike shoe boxes, I guess. Nike everything, y'all know. And then what he has, his little CDs here, his little laptop and stuff, and his little pile of laundry with his skateboard and stuff. Super simple and chill. But yeah, that is basically it for the little tour of the house. It's nothing much to look at. Their mom's room is literally not even decorated yet. And I just wanted you guys to meet them. And yeah, hold on. Let me get my little background music together real quick, y'all. My bad. But yeah, y'all see Adri is down here on the phone. And her friend like, girl, did you hear about the party that's happening tonight at Nova and Amir's house? And Adri like, girl, Nova and Amir. They house huge as fuck, and the party is about to be bussin' bussin'. That's what she's thinking in her head. And she just hung up like, yeah, they thought they was finna throw a party and not invite me. She's sitting here like, yeah, texting everybody. Like, look, party at Nova and Amir's house tonight. She's planning. She said, oh, her friend talking about some, don't tell anyone what we talked about. We can talk about it more at school. Adri, like, bitch, I'm already inviting half the school to the damn party. <laughs> But yeah, Adri, she changed into her little clothes. She texting everybody about the party tonight. And she's drunk. She's going to school drunk. Ugh. I love that for her, though. Low key. She a party girl. She don't care about nothing but having her a good little time. And I love that for her. <laughs> but I'm going to have her brother go to school, too. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to Nisi's house and see what Nisi is up to. Because, yeah, Lorenzo, he just be chilling. But, oh, one thing about Lorenzo, though, he does have a little crush on Nova. So, best believe that if he hear about the party that's going on tonight, he gonna be there. Because he has a little, y'all see the little romance meter? He has a crush on Nova. So, we gonna see how the party tonight go, y'all. Because Nova only invited, like, the people that she fuck with, fuck with. But, best believe, Lorenzo and his sister gonna be there. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Alright, we are here at Adri's house. And apparently the bills is overdue. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and pay those real quick. But this is Nisi. This is Antoine. And Arturo's daughter, she was um, conceived through a surrogate. And she's currently going through something. She's really sad and depressed because one of her close friends passed away recently. And her dads are kind of just giving her a little break and like not really pushing her to go to school because she's still mourning. As y'all can see, it says mourning. It's hard to see someone go. Nisi can find some comfort by mourning those who have passed at their tombstone or, or urn ocean eyes from being sad whatever has happened has filled Ni Nisi's eyes with tears and it says something off with the nethers is it just Nisi or things are getting a little itchy and fishy down there maybe because you haven't showered in a week babes but her house is very bright for some reason like hold on can y'all even see with how bright the house is she has lot there's lots of like lamps and stuff in here so let's just like fix the the brightness real quick because as y'all know 
there are a lot of skins that are like kind of broken. Nisi's skin isn't broken, but it looks weird when all the lights are on. So yeah, Nisi, I don't think she's going to school today. She's really sad about her friend that passed away. But let's go ahead and get into her traits and stuff. Oh, let's introduce her dad first. This is Arturo. Oh, oh no, baby. Let's pretend y'all didn't see that. He laying upstairs but naked. <laughs> Who incoming call? Oh shit, the principal is calling. Should I answer? All right, well, shit, let's talk to him. Nisi's like, I'm going through a really tough time right now. My friend literally fucking died, and I don't appreciate y'all calling my phone telling me to come to school. The principal is just like explaining that her grades are gonna fall and stuff like that. And Nisi, she's like, Look, I'm literally mourning. She's literally doing the little lip pout. She's like, Aw. Yeah, but this is Nisi. She's a really sweet girl. Her, her and Nova are actually really good friends. And she's just going through a really tough time right now. Living and growing up in... Her, is her daddy walking by her butt naked? Hold on. Hold on. No. Well, I mean, I guess it is his house. But this is Arturo. <laughs> this is one of Nisi's dads. Let's go ahead and put some clothes on him real quick because he just walked by butt ass naked but yeah this is arturo this is one of nisi's dads um she, he has been with antoine for a very long time they met in high school and they are still together but yeah antoine is really like a little bad bitch like i know y'all see him just what is nisi doing oh uh, she's giving herself a pep talk her dad's like yeah baby you got it you going to be okay. He is not stressing her to go to school at all. But I wanted to show you guys Nisi's traits real quick. She's a shea butter baby. She's messy. It says, Sims like you have a tendency to ruffle a few feathers wherever you go. Not because of your look or anything like that, but because of your messy ass mentality. Everyone seems to care compare you to Carly Red. So if y'all know who Carly Red is, y'all need to catch up on yo, um... Yo, what you call it? Love and hip hop. And she's distant. She's going through that childhood phase. She's a jester, gregarious. So it's like she's a really sweet girl, but she's just going through a really tough time since her friend died. And the good thing about it is her dads are always there for her. Her other dad, Antoine, is out handling some business, but her dads are always there for her, trying to make her smile, trying to help her through whatever she's going through. And Nisi's just not, she's just going through a phase where she feels like nobody understands her or what she's going through. She feels like nobody can really, you know, understand the pain that she's going through and stuff. And Antoine, like, girl, you're not finna sit in my house with the lights off all day, girl. You're gonna have to, you know, go figure out what you're going through. She called her classmate, like, my dad is tripping. And Antoine's like, babes. You can't sit in that dark space forever. You can call all the friends you want to call. You can The principal can call you as many times, but you cannot run away from what you're going through. And Nisi basically calling her classmate, like, I mean, I guess I might come to school today. And her classmate, like, girl, did you hear that Nova is having a party tonight? And that just hurt Nisi's feelings low-key because her and Nova used to be close before her friend, her close friend passed away. And let's see, her friend's name, I think the name of her friend that passed away is in here somewhere, Courtney. So yeah, she's just like really emotional and she feels like nobody understands her. And now she's hearing that one of her close friends throwing a party and didn't even invite her. So she's like, you know what? I think I am going to go to the party tonight. And you know what? It's time for me to get out the house. My dad's all right. I can't sit in this dark place forever. And you know, a party is the perfect place to, you know blow off some of that steam, get rid of some of that sadness, and, you know, have a good fucking time. So I think that's pretty much everybody that y'all need to know at this very second. And I will be back when the kids are off of school because we got a lot of party planning to do, okay? All right, so Xavion is on his little vacation in Tartosa with his fiance Peyton and he just got a little text saying that you know from Antoine his right hand man saying that he heard his kids are planning a crazy party tonight and Antoine's kind of like hey you want me to go over there and shut that shit down tonight and Xavion's like look Remember what we was doing at their age? We was out running the streets. We was out robbing people. We was out doing this, that, and the third. If they want to have a little party tonight, 
you know what, go ahead, as long as the house ain't tore up when I get back home. And Antoine's just like, you know what, I'm going to keep a close eye on things. I'm going to stop by a couple times and just make sure that shit don't get too out of control. And Xavion's just like, you know what, that's fine by me. But just make sure that, you know, my weed and my coke don't go missing. <laughs> Because Xavion is a really big drug dealer in Newcrest, and he's just basically telling Antoine, you know, let my kids have the party. Our dad is going to get too out of control, and that's basically that. So Xavion and Peyton are definitely the cool parents. They don't really care if the kids are throwing a party. They don't care if the kids are smoking weed. They don't care if the kids are drinking as long as they are safe. So Xavion doesn't think the party is going to get too out of hand. He don't think that there's no reason to, you know, stop it. So... Let's see, y'all, because I think that the party going to be crazy as hell. I'm not even going to cap. <laughs> All right, you guys. Skyla got off of school early, and she's sitting here waiting for Namir. And one thing about Namir, he is really good at school. He got a phone call from the principal basically saying that he could freaking graduate early. It says exam result. Namir's result above average. Way to go, Namir. Namir is, what does it say? Namir is on his way to better grades. Keep it up. Namir is doing really good at school. He's really smart. He just does a lot of drugs, honestly. He's always high. He always has mushrooms. And he's just kind of a, what is this? What is this? It says scrap. I don't know what that is. But I'm going to have him roll a little joint up, you know, real California shit. And go smoke a blunt with his girl real quick and, you know, just chat, chat it up, talk about life or whatever. So let's go ahead and do form group with Skyla. Apparently Big Choppa is somewhere around. He always somewhere around the hood nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have them smoke a little blunt in the garage. Look, she ready. She already know what time it is. And I'm going to have them just chat it up. I really like Skyla for Namir, just her whole vibe and just, I don't know, they just look really good together also. Just like, look at how, like, look, what is this? Hear about Skyla's career. She's being mischievous. But yeah, they just have a lot of fun together. I, hold on, let me do this real quick. Share this. Yeah, I wish I could have filmed their first date, but it was just like on the fly type shit. What is this? Bathroom cash. While taking a quick break, Mariana spies some money just sitting on a sink in the bathroom. Should she slide it in her locker for safekeeping or turn it into the principal right away? I'm not going to lie to you. If it was me, I'm not giving that shit to the principal. But Mariana does is very privileged like this household as y'all can see eighty seven eighty seven thousand dollars that's not all the money that they have Xavion makes sure all the kids have money and allowances so she she's not hurting for no money but you can never have enough money what should we do save it just save it 20 bucks who says, a, who says a formal education doesn't pay off? By the end of the day, Mariana will leave this school a little wiser and a little richer. Period. <laughs> but yeah, Namir and his girlfriend are just chatting about life and shit. He's like, come on, take a hit with me. What is this? Stress teacher. The teacher has to run out and pick up his medication, so he asks the class to sit quietly and do their reading assignment while he's gone. Should Nova do that or try to do some other homework while she has the chance? Girl, just do the reading. But yeah, Namir and his girl are just sitting here smoking them a little joint and chatting about life. She's just, you know, telling him about what she's been through lately. I don't really have a backstory for Skyla, per se. She's just kind of appeared. Like, Namir, I think Namir met her at school, and they just been kicking it ever since. Like two peas in a little pod type shit but yeah i'm gonna have nova when she comes home i'm gonna have her help plan the party and stuff like that because i don't know there's a lot of things to be done i already kind of set up the house with the lights and stuff like that but i'm gonna have to you know lock a bunch of doors oh my gosh big choppers at the door is he coming in Let's just, should we invite him in? 
Let's invite him. He raining money and shit. <laughs> Let's invite Big Chopper in and see what he wants. He probably wants some coke. He be strung out on coke. Namir's like, what's up? You want to come in the house? <laughs> if y'all don't know who Big Chopper is, he's a rapper. He's a very rich rapper from Newcrest. And he be around these parts, especially Xavion's house. So I don't know why he's here. I guess he want to just sit and chat or something. But I'll be back when Nova gets off school because Nova's the one planning the big party tonight. So stay tuned. All right. It is 3 o'clock and Nova is off of school. I'm going to go ahead and follow her into the house so we can start planning this party. And I don't know. Nova knows how to cook a little bit. So I guess we should have, I mean, I don't know. Should we, I think grilling something would be easier. Just like grilling something before everybody gets here. And we can hire a mixologist. The pool's kind of already set up and stuff like that. So, and then they can just do like light a bonfire out back and stuff like that. I don't know. Nova and Namir's house is like kind of the perfect party place, but her parents always be home. So I think the first thing we should do is just do our homework. And it says that Mariana got a low test result. It says Mariana's result is below average. Maybe Mariana should have prepared herself a bit more before exam day. So Mariana definitely needs to hit them books right away. Skyla's in here dancing and stuff. I wonder if Skyla has homework. Let's see. She literally don't even have homework in her inventory. So mm -hmm. I think she's good to go. Namir is in here watching anime. And he got an above average test result. So I think I'm going to give him a break from his homework tonight. And let's see, Nova in here doing her homework, as she should. Here, I think I'm going to turn off some lights so that it's not so bright, just in this little area. Period. Mariana completed her homework. Cool. Put it back in your inventory. Why do they just leave their homework sitting around? Like, please. Oh, not the dog bed. Here, ask to lie down. The dog's name is Peaches. They had two dogs. Like, I forgot what their name was, but one of them ran away and the other one just disappeared. I don't know why, but they had two dogs at one point in this house. But yeah, did the dog just ignore her? Lay down, please. And then Nova, oh, she's going to the bathroom. I'm going to have Namir work on his school project. And then Skyla. She's minding her own business. Let's see. I think Mariana should smoke a little blunt real quick. I saw she had it rolled up. But that homework come first. Period. Let's see. Smoke more weed. Yeah, Mariana, she's a really good girl too, but her, she's seen like a lot of really fucked up shit in her life. Her dad is a gangbanger and, you know, she just saw some really fucked up things that, you know, no little girl should have to see. That's why her dad sent her away to live with her uncle Xavion and she just, she needs a little bit more direction in her life and Xavion and Peyton are definitely the ones for that because they'll let you smoke your little weed and they'll let you drink your little liquor, but them grades better be looking right. Okay, and look, we got this little notification again. It says, Namir is performing, performing superbly. He can graduate early if he talks to the principal or use the computer. So, yeah, y'all. Namir be having his shit together, together. He working on a school project he don't even need to re really be working on because he can graduate early. But I didn't want him to graduate early just because I haven't played with the high school pack that much. And I want to be able to, you know, build, like, a cute little school and, like, play there, you know? Nova sitting here minding her little business. Let's roll a little blunt up. I'm going to just have them roll their weed up now so that they don't have to, you know, do it during the party. Yep, keep rolling up. Oh, we're all out of wraps. All right, we got three blunts here. And I'm going to have her 
roll her little blunts up so that we don't got to do it later. Yeah, she in a good mood because she just smoked her little weed. What did her mood would say? Chatty. Nothing loosens up those social skills like a little booze. Marianne is feeling very chatty. Stoned as fuck. High on OG Kush. A poor score. Well, it wasn't the absolute worst score Marianna could have gotten, but she's definitely got to work to improve her grades for the next exam. Eventful school day. Marianna joined in on smoking a joint with some friends after school. <laughs> and she's sobering up. Okay, Marianna. Well, I think that Marianna should work on her school project then. Let's see. I know there's a little bit of space somewhere. Just in the backyard, maybe. Why we can't put her little project down? Oh, because of the basketball, what you call it? All right. I'm going to have Marianna start working on her school project so that she can get her grades up. And then Nova... I'm going to have her start cooking some stuff for the party. Let's cook. What should we make? I saw that we have those little hamburger sliders now, and I think that that's so cute. It's so perfect for parties. I'm going to have her make a fried chicken slider. Mariana's phone is ringing. Don't tell anyone what we talked about. We can talk about it more at school. Oh, Raul. Let me find out Mariana got her a little boyfriend already. I know that's right. <laughs> Namir is working on his school project. Nova is cooking her. All right. Well, while they're doing all that, we're going to go ahead and invite over some people, you know, to pregame with us. But we'll do it after Nova finishes cooking her little fried chicken sliders. <laughs> All right, Nova finished cooking, so now we're inviting some people over to pregame with us. I'm just going through her little contact list or whatever, and we're just inviting some people over. I'm inviting this girl Yara over because they have a romance meter. Oh, but Yara would rather not come. I don't know. Nova be pissing people off. I don't know. <laughs> She'd be going to school and just pissing people off, but we can invite Saint over. Saint is one of her little friends from school. And yeah, we're going to be back when they pull up. Saint pulled up quick as hell. This is Saint. And if you guys watch my Love Lonnie Let's Play, this is Travaris's little brother. So let's go ahead and invite him in. India is here already. This is one of Nova's little friends. And I want to go ahead and form a group. He mad about the dog. Please don't do too much. I want to form, or actually, him and Nova aren't, like, friends. I don't know what happened at school, but they're not friends yet. They just have a little romance meter. Nova be flirting with random people. She's just one of those girls. She be like, hey, babes. Hey, love. What you call it? She just be flirting it up. But Saint is obviously... Not for her team, as you can see. So let's go ahead and then let's talk to India too. Because I think we got to do the little friendly introduction. India like, hey girl, suggestive look, hold on. Namir has noticed that Yara's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There's an intensity to her stare. What? Oh, this girl. She over here trying to flirt with Namir. Girl. Where's Namir's girl at? Come check this bitch. What the fuck? Nah. We not finna let that slide. Where is the little... Nah. Ignore her. Where is Skyla? Oh, Skyla's not here no more. That's why. This little girl felt bold as hell. She thought she was going to walk up to Namir and really do something. Nah, Namir not going for none of that. He feeling flirty, though. Bitches love Namir. They be loving them some Namir. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think we did enough of the party planning, and I will be back when the party is underway. 
All right, you guys, I am back. It is the next day, and the pre gaming has kind of already started. I went ahead and just teleported Adri and Lorenzo here. I'm not going to control them or nothing. I just teleported them here. Saint is down here with um, Nova's little friend, India. They chatting it up or whatever. He thinks the party boring so far, I guess, but we going to go ahead and have him tend the bar. Hold on. We got to replace this speaker. Let's turn on some Latin music. Y'all know this is a Puerto Rican household. If y'all be watching my family ties, let's play. But yeah, the pre-gaming should start now. I went ahead and... Um, change the party time to 8 p.m. instead of 10 p.m. Because everybody's ready. Namir took a nap. Nova is still up in the room napping. Ugh, the twin stuff be weird sometimes. Namir, not you watching your sister sleep. Waiting for her to wake up, please. I'm gonna have him come down here and start making some drinks for people. We got a mixologist in the building, but y'all know we want the insemnia bar drinks. So let's make our, is he gonna come to this bar? Let's see. He is. Okay, well, let's order a drink. Let's get a shot of whiskey. And we just gonna start pre-gaming it up. Order a drink. I'm gonna have him get a shot of Pink Whitney. Let's have Skyla order a drink. Let's do a shot of whiskey. Everybody come drink it up. The keg party is about to begin. Per Oh, we got to get a keg. This is a keg party. I'm dead. I forgot to do that. <laughs> but we just going to drink. Drink it up. Uh, not Skyla getting butt naked for the party, please. Hold on. I gave Skyla some outfits, but I didn't give her very many. Hold on. I'm going to just have her change into this. This is cute. It's cold outside. We got to change the weather so it won't be so fucking... Um, the Sims, I hate when they get cold. The party is started. I wish we had some lights out here. That would be dope. Look. Look at the lovebirds sitting next to each other. Skyla finna go get her little drink. Why do my Sims keep getting naked? What is really good? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They just keep getting butt ass naked. And it's not cute. Whatsoever. I should have blocked off the little pool area. <laughs> Okay, Nova. Nova, girl, this is your party and you're just standing around. You know what she need? She needs to smoke one of these real quick. Yup. Get that little blunt in before everybody starts showing up. And then we got to take the little chicken sliders that we made out. We made the little fried chicken sliders. Let's just take a bunch of food out and just put it out. We got some elote, some fried fish plates, and then where's the chicken sliders that we made? The chicken sliders that we made. There's some barbecue ribs in here. We just gonna put that out. And I'm gonna have Nova grab a serving when she's done smoking her little, what is this, a blunt or a J? When she done smoking her little blunt, she gonna go ahead and get her some chicken. Some fried chicken sliders. This outfit is cute, but I don't know if this is what I want her to wear for the party. Hold on. Because she has some really cute outfits that I gave her for party. For her little party attire. This is cute too, but... Uh, I'm going to let it slide. Well, hold on, no. I gave her one super cute little fucking outfit. I really want her to wear it. This one. Period. Look at her. I know that's right, Nova. Real hot girl shit. Ah. 
Oh, and look who's here. Lorenzo and Adri sitting here looking awkward as hell. What y'all watching? Anime? I'm going to have Nova flirt with him because they got a little romance meter going. Hold on, y'all. Somebody knocking on my goddamn door. Of course. I swear, I can never just record my little LPs in peace, y'all. That's another reason why they've been slow to come out. I can never just record my little what you call it without somebody bothering me. Oh, and look who just walked in. Yara, the little, little fast girl that was trying to flirt with um, Namir while his girl was gone. Well, his girl here, bitch. Get caught slipping if you want to, girl. Where's she going? And she showed up in this little fast ass dress. I swear to God, I did not plan this outfit for her. That's why it's not cute. And fucking Saint is naked by the pool. Teens gone wild. Teens have gone wild already. Namir said, fuck y'all, I'm finna go chill in the room. I'm gonna have him make a group with his little girlfriend real quick. It's nine o'clock already on a school night. So let's go ahead and let's get the little smoke session going. With them. But, um, she over here flirting with Lorenzo and their little romance meter has not gone up yet. But we finna get the little smoke session going. To the garage, as usual. Y'all already know. <laughs> this used to be their dad's smoke area. But since they started smoking weed, they literally just took over the whole little smoking area. I'm gonna have Nova sit. Smoke her weed. I'm gonna have Namir share a blunt with his cousin. Oh, he has, he don't got nothing rolled. That's ass. All right. Mariana can share the blunt, her blunt with Skyla. Oh, they're not close enough friends. Oh, well. She, Skyla gonna be the only one not smoking weed then. That's real tough. She should have brought her own weed. <laughs> Look, Namir's still trying to talk to his little girlfriend. Skylar, the only one in, in the room not smoking. I've definitely been there when I was in high school and didn't smoke weed, you know, when I was a good girl. <laughs> Cute. They got the little smoke session going over here. Saint butt naked watching TV in the living room. I think it might be time for him to go. I'm not going to lie to you. He only got one drink in him and he is butt naked. Like, please. Where is the dresser? I don't understand why teens love to be naked so much. I gave I give him killer outfits. Killer. And he would rather sit around naked. But let's make sure we get in good use off this bartender. Order a drink. Let's get him. Ooh, let's get some champagne. Let's be bougie. Saint, is he ordering the drink through the door? Don't do that. Don't be lazy. Oh, he finna come get his drink. But yeah, Saint is like a baddie. He's the trendsetter of his school. So of course, Nova had to invite him because she invited all the bad bitches. And that's why Adri pressed. Because she was not invited to the party. But it was supposed to be more like a little kickback. And I think we definitely succeeded in the little kickback. Mariana got the munchies. She sure do got the munchies. Look at her. She for the make what what is she making? Oh, she having her a quick little meal. I know that's right. Nova down here getting it. She dancing by her damn self. <laughs> Hold on. I want Lorenzo to dance with her. Should we control I'm controlling so many Sims right now though? Oh, look, Skyla came down to dance. Okay, okay. Is Skyla drunk yet? Has she she hasn't even had anything to drink? Hold on. I'm gonna get Skyla a drink before the night is over. Order a drink. I'm gonna get her a shot of pink whitney. So she can be drunk just like everybody else. <laughs> Period. I hate how slow the Sims walk. Like, please put some pep in your step. Like in real life, I run to the drinks. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. 
Adri is enjoying the fuck out of their TV. She like, y'all got it good in here. What's that one TikTok? The Wi-Fi jumping in this bitch. I'm finna start coming over here. <laughs> and the mirror's watching TV. Attractiveness alert. Oh, okay, wait. Saint Sinclair, baby, he don't swing for your team. You gonna have to have another drink. <laughs> Obviously you drunk, girl. Hold on. Let's get her another drink. Order a drink. Ooh, let's order drinks for group. Let's all do a shot of pink Whitney. Whitney made me do it. Hashtag Whitney made me do it. Yep. For the drinks. Who needs to get going? Is that Skyla? Somebody said that they need to get going. Were they even invited? Like, who was that? Who is this? India? Oh, India's leaving. She said the party lame as hell. I'm leaving. I didn't want to invite a whole bunch of Sims, but look at how cute India is. This is Nova's friend, India. She don't go to the same school as them, but she's cute. I think her skin is broken, but she's still mad cute, as y'all can see. <laughs> India leaving because everybody else hogging the drinks, I guess. Do the shot to Pink Whitney. Take the shot, Skyla. Take the shot. I hate when they walk around. Like, girl, just take the shot. Take it. I want to watch her drink it. All right, you guys. I think that we are getting to the end of this episode. Everybody just walking around with their drinks. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting all the new Sims that I made. I hope y'all enjoyed the looks. I hope looks were indeed served. And why does Skyla ha why does Skyla just grab two drinks? Why do I feel like the party finna get good now that I'm ready to end the episode? I'm weak. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys will tune in for another episode of Menace to Society because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. But yeah, you guys, please make sure to check out my Patreon if you want to get cool free traits like my stoner trait that Nova has. And Nova's getting tired. She's tired of this shit. She ready for everybody to get the fuck up out her house. I know that feeling, girl. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I will see you guys next time I love 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 you guys Please be sure to like comment and subscribe And I will see you guys next time Bye